Perhaps getting on a bit might have thought that Scott Crowell's clothes you saw earlier were a bit reminiscent of the 60s. And talking of that, I'm here with Julie Tippett, who you probably remember as Julie Driscoll, an enormous star of the 60s, and Doctor from Doctor and the Medics, who's far too young to remember anything in the 60s, but shh, being hailed as part of the new psychedelia movement in London. Julie, can I ask you, first of all, what was so special about the 60s that everybody's been harking back to it so much? I don't know that there was anything really that special other than people sort of, sort of wanting to be themselves, I suppose. Did you think it was really innovative time? I mean, the clothes, everything were really different then, weren't they? For the yes, time? but they've been different in every era, really. You know, I mean, there's, there's always different phases. What was it like being an enormous sex symbol? <laughs> because, I mean, you were it, weren't you? I mean, it was Julie Driscoll was the biggest thing. Well, it was very embarrassing. <laughs> Embarrassing. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's not a nice feeling to sort of be an idol, really. Not when you're just a human being, you know. Oh, well, it's nice to be a human being and an idol, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? No, I... Oh, what are you talking yeah. about human beings? What do you think of doctors <laughs> and uh, just about the new yeah. movement? I mean, do you think is there any relevance in having psychedelia now? No? I don't know. It's a bit yeah, late, isn't it? <laughs> I have to answer it if you don't want. What do you think? Why are you doing it? I mean, what is the relevance of this in 1985? Well, the relevance of what? I mean, you say the relevance of psychedelia. I mean, what I'm actually doing, um, to be honest, isn't psychedelia as it was then. I mean, we're... OK, it's 1985. Yeah, 1985. I mean, I'd be an idiot to suggest that, you know, OK, let's go back to the 60s, man. I mean, you know, OK, that's one thing. But we've come on a whole stage further. I mean, what's actually happening now is a lot of a lot of young people are uh, actually d taking psychedelia as um, an inspiration, if you like. Um, whereas, I mean, the original psychedelia took R&B as their musical reference, and they got these funny machines and noises to make the, you know, funny sounds. And they started writing, hence Pink Floyd and everything. We're, we're like, coming on from psychedelia, if you like, to, to the present day. But why are you wearing the same clothes, then, if you're coming on? I mean, I, I, mean, I had a pair of choices like that, so I'm not ashamed to admit it. Don't, don't be so smart. I'm the only person, to be honest, who dresses like this. Everyone else, I mean, this is, I mean, this is my thing. <laughs> I stand up. I, have you seen anyone else like this? No, I haven't either. Right. I mean, I stand like on stage, like I when don't we know. play. I've seen hundreds. <laughs> Shut up! You're ruining my life. <laughs> I mean, when we play with Doctor and the Medics, for example, plug, plug, my group. Um, when we play, I mean, I stand there and I do like my thing, and I'm, I'm this. But the thing about the whole involvement at the moment. There was an attempted psychedelic revival about two years ago, right? And, I mean, then everyone would stand around and it, it would try and copy it. OK, well, hang on a sec, because uh, now what we're going to see is some of the music we're talking about. If you'd been lucky enough to have been born at the right time, this is the music you'd have been Their yeah. habits than Jules Hall. And that, that was what it was like for real. Julie, does it annoy you that some people are trying to bring that back now? Does it depress you that we have to look back to the 60s to get something new? I didn't even know that that was happening, really, I must be honest. But, um... I think the only shame about keep sort of referring to things from the past is that to me it proves that people are not coming up with new ideas and I think that is a shame because exploring music deeply there is there's an awful lot to learn and discover well, from what music. Do you, what do you say to that then? Do yeah, quite yeah. criticism? Well, what I was going on to say before, before, the, before the film You've had your in, bit before you no, got I was, I was cut off in the middle. <laughs> yes, Please. Go. Come on. Cut her off. Yeah, no, what I was going to say was um, what I was saying was, like, this is, like, my thing in terms of dress and appearance. What the present bands are doing are taking that as a route, and they are, like, going further. I mean, for one, Doctor and the Medics wouldn't, aren't anything like that. I mean, and the people that come to see us aren't like this. I mean, like, we've got everything from Mohicans to the most down-and-out Stonehenge-type hippie come and see us. I mean, it's really a thing they're coming against. It's going against the overproduced bands, and, like, they're coming back to see a live band as such who are experimenting and carrying on. I mean, OK, I use that as an influence. I mean, our, our drummer, if, if you tried to call him a hippie, he'd probably, probably put a beer glass over your head, you know what I mean? But isn't it just a style? I mean, what Julie's saying, she's talking about the music there, you're just adopting a style that's yeah, I am, I 20 am. years old. Yeah, I, I am, but everyone else who comes to see us in the band are doing their own thing. Basically, what's happening is um, there's a lot of young, if you like, artists, and both at the club I run, Alice in Wonderland as well, there's a lot of young artists and bands, if you like, who are coming along with their own thing that they've, they've adapted and they're pushing forward. There's bands like Ring of Roses, you know, Cockroaches, bands like that, um, who are pushing themselves, you know, further forward. And if you want to see what's happening, and if you're in London at this moment, God. the Doctor and the Medics are playing at the <laughs> London School of Economics tonight at 10 o'clock. Yes, I'll be there in time. And there's, so, like, and there's an awful lot 